really quick before we begin a quick shout out to all of you out there just want to thank you for being here and watching Spain on a Fork and letting you know how much I deeply appreciate every single one of you. Anyways, today we have a very special episode. I'm going to show you how to make what I'm going to be serving this Christmas Eve, which happens to be tomorrow. We're talking un potaje de mariscos con alubias. This is basically a Spanish seafood stew with beans. And let me tell you, the beauty of this recipe is that it's a one pan dish, meaning you're going to have a super easy cleanup at the end. And as for the flavors, it's going to feel like it's been simmering for hours when in reality, it's all done in about 30 minutes. Folks, this recipe is very easy to make. It's got a ton of Spanish flavors to it. And with that first spoonful, it's going to instantly warm your soul. Let's begin by grabbing a stock pot, heating it with a medium heat, and adding in a quarter cup of extra virgin olive oil, which is about 60 milliliters. While the olive oil is heating, I'm gonna finely chop one small onion, roughly chop six cloves of garlic, finely chop one carrot that's been peeled, and roughly chop one green bell pepper. Then we'll add the vegetables into the stock pot, and we'll mix them around. That way they're all coated in that olive oil. And as you know, I like to mix this continuously. That way everything evenly sautés. After about four minutes and the vegetables are lightly sautéed, I'm gonna add in a generous teaspoon of sweet smoked Spanish paprika, which is about three grams, and one teaspoon of dry thyme, which is about one gram and we'll give it a quick mix. That way that paprika and thyme are evenly coating all the vegetables. As always, the Spanish paprika that I'm using is from Kiva. You'll find a link where you can get some in the description box below. And if you buy it from that link, you'll also get 25% off your order. Then we'll add in half a cup of tomato sauce, which is 125 grams. And we'll give it a mix, that way everything's well mixed together, and then simmer it for a couple minutes. The tomato sauce that I'm using, I made by finely grating fresh tomatoes, but you can also use canned tomato sauce, pasata, or even Spanish tomate frito. While the tomato sauce is simmering, let's start getting our beans ready. I'm going to drain a 15 and a half ounce can of white beans into a colander. This is 440 grams. And a 15 and a half ounce can of kidney beans, which once again is 440 grams and we'll rinse the beans under some cold running water. And like I always tell you, when you're working with canned beans, this is such an important step. That way later on when you add them into the pan, they can absorb all the flavors. And we'll reserve a quarter cup of the beans, which is 45 grams, and set them aside. After simmering the tomato sauce between three to four minutes, and it has slightly thickened up, I'm gonna add in the drained beans, and we'll season everything with sea salt and freshly cracked black pepper. And we'll give it a gentle mix until everything's well mixed together. Then we'll add in three cups of fish broth, which is 720 milliliters. You'll find a link where you can get the Spanish fish broth I'm using for this recipe in the description box below. And we'll also add in two bay leaves. Then we'll turn up the heat to a high heat, give it a mix, and bring the broth to a boil. Once the broth comes to a boil, I'm going to place the lid on the stock pot, and we'll lower the fire to a low medium heat, and we're going to simmer this for about 10 minutes. That way all the flavors can develop. In the meantime, let's start getting our seafood ready. I'm gonna grab two fillets of cod. These are seven ounces each, which is 200 grams each, and pat them completely dry with paper towels. Now the cod that I'm using, I bought frozen and thawed out, is to make things easier and cheaper, but of course you can use fresh cod here, as well as any other type of firm white fish. Then we'll season the fillets with sea salt and freshly cracked black pepper. And we'll cut each fillet into small bite-sized pieces. And we'll do the exact same thing with about 15 raw jumbo shrimp that have been peeled and deveined. After simmering the beans for about 10 minutes, I'm gonna remove the lid 
and add in the pieces of cod and the pieces of shrimp. And we'll give it a gentle mix, that way the cod and the shrimp are incorporated into the stew, then place the lid back on the stock pot and go between three to four minutes or until that seafood is perfectly cooked through. For the final step, let's make the thickener. I'm gonna add in the reserved quarter cup of beans into a mortar, Pinch in a quarter teaspoon of saffron threads, which is 0.17 grams. You'll find a link where you can get the golden saffron that I'm using in the description box below. And two tablespoons of finely chopped fresh parsley, which is eight grams. You can substitute this for one third the amount of dried parsley. Then we'll pinch in a kiss of sea salt. And using a pestle, pound down on the mixture until you form a paste-like texture. If you don't have a mortar and pestle, no big deal. You can also use a food processor here, a hand blender, or even add the ingredients into a cutting board and mash them down with a fork. After simmering the seafood between three to four minutes and it's perfectly cooked through, I'm gonna remove the lid, add the thickener into the stew, and we'll give it one final mix. That way the thickener is evenly incorporated into the stew. And let me tell you that thickener is not only gonna give a beautiful texture to the stew, but it's gonna give it an incredible lift of flavors. Then we'll remove the stock pot from the heat. Transfer some of the stew into a shallow bowl. and we'll garnish it with some fresh parsley. Check it out, our potaje de mariscos con alubias is done. A beautiful Spanish seafood stew with beans, easy to make, incredible aromas coming out of it, and the best part, all done in about 30 minutes. Let's give it a try and see how it turned out. Once again, folks, potaje de mariscos con alubias. Seriously, check that out. Here we go. It is so good. Like wow factor good. You know, with that first bite, it instantly warms your soul. You know, like I told you at the beginning, it feels like it's been simmering for hours, but we just got it done in a little over 30 minutes. Serve the stew next to a crunchy baguette and a bottle of Spanish wine, more specifically from the wine region of Jumilla. You're gonna have yourself an amazing meal, either for Christmas Eve or any time of the year. Really quick before I go, uh, shout out to a couple of my patrons, Richard SB, Lisa Larea, Edward Alvarez, Marco Steenburgen, and Holly Parker. Again, guys, thank you so much for being patrons of Spain on a fork. You know how much I appreciate you. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that like button as it really helps out the channel. Leave me a comment below. And as always, don't forget to share this video with your family and friends that we're Spain on a fork community can continue to grow. Till the next time, hasta luego.